Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that are tolling in this truth. I'm Pathaka Moth GMS Dallas, and I'm just coming back at you with a really quick lamb back lesson. Uh, this brother right here, Holy Bible Defenders, uh, did this lesson going in on, on, as you can see, the title, One Body Not in Yahweh Shai is Proven Not to be prophets of the Lord, which they're not, man. You know, they're false prophets. They're, they're, they're not set up by the Lord. You know, very possibly agents, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the vibe that we're, that brothers are starting to get, you know, from this group, man, that they're agents. They're set up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, But they're, they are definitely not men of the Lord, and they're not sent by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I just wanted to, you know, uh, uh, go into a, uh, and deal with a point that this guy right here, uh, uh, the elder over there, uh, uh, Jeth, Jeth, Jeppa or Jetha, or, you know, I, I don't really know how to pronounce his name. Uh, you know, this dude, man, <laughs> he's hilarious, man, to say the least, you know, thinks he knows the Bible, talking about he's scriptured up. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, at the end of the day, false prophets, man. So, uh, Without any further ado, man, I'm just going to deal with a point that he made, you know, something that was said, and then I'm going to just bring out a few scriptures real quick, you know, nothing nothing long. We're just going to hit it and quit it, make the points and get in and get out, man. You know what I'm saying? So just without any, without any further ado, you know, just listen to what this dude says, man. Just proving that the Lord is not with them, man, you know? And I'm going to try to, you know, rewind it a couple of times, you know, two or three times to, you know, that you get that feel for what, what this dude is saying here. So listen to this. Is that, is that Israel coming together? You ever notice that the camp they are here teaching about war this week? War, 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 war. World War III, where this war, that war. You ever notice that the camp they are here teaching about war this week? War, 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 war. World War III, where this war, that war. Notice that the camp they are here teaching about war this week. War, 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 war. World War Three, where this war, that war. And that's the point. And as you can see on the screen, <laughs> the brother put up there, we know who these guys are talking about. Of course, GMS, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you're hearing from GMS. You're hearing about the wars and rumors of wars and World War Three and all of these things, man. That the World War Three is, is that is that final war, man. Armageddon. You know, that third woe, because when you read in the scriptures, Revelations, uh, the eighth chapter uh, and verse 13 goes into three woes, uh, uh, the vibrations of war that was put in the uh, uh, in the earth, man, by the angel. You know what I'm saying? Three major wars, man. And when you continue to read, uh, it goes in, in the in the verse nine, you know, it goes into the, the you know, the first woe, you know, which is, was World War One? Then, when you go into Revelations, the eleventh uh, chapter, I believe, in verse around verse, verse fourteen, it says the the second woe is past, and the third woe cometh quickly, man. Which was World War Two with World War Three coming, man. You know, war is a major war. War is a major part of prophecy and pro part of things going on, man. As a matter of fact, now that I said that, let's just go here real quick. You know, which I'm gonna come back. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me see what, what I have here. Salakia, man, this phone got a name. Let's go here. This is Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. And it reads, The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is a man of war. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is his name. So the Lord is a man of war. So what is this dude talking about? War, 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 war. World War Three. War, war this, war, war, war that. What is he talking about, man? Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name, man. So it's about war, man. That's what the Lord, that's how the Lord gets down, man. You know? One kingdom uh, 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 is set up and another kingdom is brought down by war, man. You know, that's how it has been. That's what, that's how it's going to be with this final war, man. You know, when Yahweh Shai cracks them clouds, World War Three is going to be uh, in, in process, man. You know? But that war is going to bring down Esau's kingdom, man. That's how it, that's, that's the setup, man. So, of course, would we not be talking about war <laughs> if that's the setup, you know? Come on, man. What does it say in, uh, 
in Matthew, the, uh, the 24th chapter, man. You know, this is Matthew 24. And uh, I'm going to get to the point. And I'm going to start at verse 5. This is Matthew 24 and 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. So it's, so this is red letters. Yahweh Shai is speaking. He says, many is going to come in his, in his name, you know, saying that they're anointed, man. You know, that they're the men of the Lord, man. <laughs> and shall deceive many. And that's what these groups... I ain't going to even go into names, man. Y'all know, y'all, y'all been hearing what's going on, you know, you know, all these wayward groups, man, you know, and, and especially over there, you know, the, 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 the deacon, you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness, man, that dude, man. But hey, many shall, you know, for many shall come in my name saying I am anointed Hamashiach and shall deceive many. But the scriptures also say, that the deceived and the deceiver are his. So the Most High is deceiving them to deceive those he's not dealing with, that he don't want, man. You know, those outcasts, <laughs> you know, of the elect and one third, man, because that's all the Lord wor is worried about, man, his elect, you know, the one third. Verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So the Lord was telling uh, uh, the uh, uh, disciples slash apostles, these are the things that's going to be going on, man. <laughs> you know, wars, rumors of wars. So with that going on, will we not be talking about it? God damn, man. <laughs> hey, see that you be not trouble for all these things must come to pass. So these things have to happen, man. Yeah, we're going to talk about these things, man, because they have to happen. For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. That's war, man. You have war out here in, in, in these streets, among these people, among these nations. And then you're going to have, like it says, kingdom against kingdom. That's World War III, you know. These nations fighting against these each, these nations, man. Primarily coming against America, man. And there, shall, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All those things are happening. The, uh, uh, the famine, there's a major famine building up right now that's about to hit these people, man. You know, these these dudes ain't talking about none of this. You know, they think we're tripping because we because that's who he was talking about. GMS, man. You know, so they think we're tripping because we're talking about these things, man, and, and, and doing and saying and telling Jake what the what the uh, scriptures are talking about, what the most high is, is telling us to tell the people, man. We're the watchmen set up to warn, man. War is coming. <laughs> that's blowing a <the> trumpet. <laughs> But this dude talking about coming together. These 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 cats talking about building here in America. America is through. This place is finished, man. Verse eight. All these are the beginning of sorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? So, come on, man. That's what's going on here, which is prophecy. And then you how? What did you how should I say, man? This is Revelation chapter nineteen and verse ten. John and Revelator, suck it. And, it. and it reads, Revelations 19 and 10, he was speaking about Yahweh Shai. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, which we just read a, 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 a some major prophecies in the book of Matthew, man, where Yahweh Shai was speaking and, and, and going into these things, wars, rumors of wars, <laughs> you know, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, wars, man. All of that is war. Why would we not be talking about these things when it's clearly prophecy, which is clearly what Yahweh Shai is the spirit of? He's all about that, man. You know, proving his dudes are, are, are false prophets, man. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let's jump over real quick. Uh, let me find my, uh, where's my apocrypha? Oh, right here. Let me get my apocrypha real quick. Let's jump over to, uh, and let's go into, where I want. Let's get second there's just, uh, 15 and one. The second edge is 15 and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. Yahweh Shai. So 
these dudes don't have prophecy in their mouths. So the Lord is not dealing with them because the Lord clearly says, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. The people of the Lord are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent. You make up the 12 no longer lost tribes of the nation of Israel, the true biblical uh, 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 Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, you know. And he says, speaking to the ears of those people, the words of prophecy, man, <laughs> which we just read. Yahweh Shai has the spirit of. He's all about that. Come on, man. Which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. So the fact that we speak about war, 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 which is prophecy, proves that the Lord is putting these things in our mouths and that the Lord is dealing with us, man. Come on. The great millstone beginning to start with apostle to heart on down, man. And he's not dealing with the, the, this group, you know, and others, you know, that these others are going off too. you know, it says and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Yeah, the prophecies are going to come to pass. So I speaking about these wars it's going to happen, man. These things are happening. World War Three is in your face, man. You know, any time now that it's going to pop off, man. <laughs> Verse three, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, the, the unbelief, the non-belief of them trouble thee. All those non-believers, man, you know, that speaketh against thee. That, that dude is speaking against what we're doing, man. Which we're doing, thus saith the Lord, man. <laughs> For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's what's coming, man. You know, death by pain, like it says in, 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 in uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, man. You know, that death by pain, man. You know, because the Lord said in verse five, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death and destruction. These things are coming, man. And, the, and these false prophets are going to take a, a, a part in that, man. You know. Lest ye repent, you know, lest ye repent, man. If you don't repent, the Lord is going to put people to death, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's the message. And, that's, and, and hey, the, the true prophets are out there saying that we ain't talking about coming together, which is not biblical. No, Amos, the third chapter, verse three says, can two walk together lest they be agreed, man. These dudes teach, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai didn't perform any miracles. You know what I'm saying? They don't believe in Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, man. So, hey, it is what it is, man. Let's get the one. Let's get to Mr. Rock now, because the scriptures clearly are about prophecies. This is a rock chapter 39 and verse one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. War is part of the prophecies, man. Esau's kingdom is going to be ended by war, man. As a matter of fact, real quick, <laughs> you got to be occupied in prophecies, man. What is this dude talking about, man? Let's go back to Revelations real quick, man. <laughs> Ain't that what Yahweh Shai is coming to do, man? <laughs> God dang, man, this dude, man, let's, let's go back to Revelations 19. It's Revelations 19, and I'm going to jump down to verse 11. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was faithful, was called faithful and true. We know this is talking about Yahweh Shai, and he's going to return in, in a chariot, man. That's what the horse represents power. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. War, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, these dudes are false prophets, man. Let me get one more, man. This, you know, the, the point has been made. The Lord is not dealing with these dudes, man, you know. It's Jeremiah chapter 23. And as a matter of fact, let me start at the top at verse one. Woe, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 23 and verse one. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Woe means destruction. You know, the pastors is these dudes, Je Jephthah, or whatever his name is, over there, one body, not in Yahweh Shai, man. You know, he's talking to them, you know. And all the rest of these false prophets out here, man, you know, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said Yahweh Shai. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, said Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai is about to visit you people, man. You know what I'm saying? He's coming to see you. 
Guess who's coming to dinner, baby? You know, the most high is going to visit for the things you're doing, man. It says the anger of the verse 20, the anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. So you, 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 you wayward teaching false prophets are about to consider perfectly, man, in its completeness. In these latter days, so it's talking about now, everything that the Lord is about to execute and perform, man, you know. Verse 21, I have not sent these prophets. The Lord didn't send one body, man. He didn't send Jephthah. He, he didn't send them. <laughs> it's not the, a prophet of the Lord. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. And just like it says in Habakkuk, the second chapter, you know, uh, I believe it's Habakkuk, second chapter. Uh, 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 he that he that run that readeth it, you know, going into the visions, which is the prophecies, you know, we're the modern day heralds. Those are given to the actual prophets of the Lord, man. These these guys are not them, but they're running. They are running and, and, and so-called prophesying. But it's all nonsense and madness, man. Lies. The, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. Why? Because he, the Lord told you, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. So the Lord is going to deal with them. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to jump down to... What was it at? Uh... Because he said he was going to visit them. I think I might have read it already. But anyway, yeah, the Lord didn't send these. He didn't send them. So when the times of the Lord is showing who his prophets are, who he's dealing with and who he's not. So I said that was the last one, but I'm going to get one more. So like, <laughs> so like, let me get one more. The second Ezra is chapter 16. And I believe it's verse 73. Second Ezra 16 and 73. Then shall they be known whom are my chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So, and that's why everybody is coming after uh, 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 the, the men of the Great Millstone, man. That's that, that's that being tried in the fire, man. You know, everybody hates the Great Millstone, which is beautiful, you know, because that's fulfillment of prophecy as well, man. You know, the, the, uh, even Yahweh Shai said, you know, if, they, if, if the world hate you, remember it hated me first, roughly paraphrasing, loosely paraphrasing. But basically, you're going to be hated because they hated me. These these groups don't. That's all claiming to be about Yahweh Shai are not. But they're not about Yahweh Shai, man. You know they're actually against Yahweh Shai. These law keepers, so called. You know what I'm saying? They're against Yahweh Shai, man. You know one body which has Yahweh Shai in their in their title in their name, the name of their their, their church is it, not about Yahweh Shai. Everything is against him. He ain't performed no miracles. He ain't did this. He ain't did that. That's a metaphor. That's come on, man. Stop, bro. You know, so these people are false prophets, man. They're not uh, uh, sent by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I just want to make a, a quick point on that. You know, was watching that brother's video. Beautiful vet, uh, edification comes from that brother. You know, and, uh, you know, just want to make my, you know, put my two cents in on it. So, hey, hopefully this was this was edifying to the hopeful elect, which I hope to be a part of. I brought to Sabah Shai. With that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kapadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadah, Shalom.